prior to NFTs, what I guess is <clears throat> what was the other outlet to be a freelance graphic designer? Other, obviously, you can you could be employed by a company, and that's a little different. But mm -hmm. as someone sure. who just kind of creates and sells their art, what's kind of the process or kind of the the way someone could go about that? So I think everybody kind of finds their way into it a little differently. Um, I know the world loves the word freelance. I hate the word freelance and I don't use the word hate often, <laughs> but I hate the word freelance because it has the word free in it and clients see the word free and they're like, this is going to be either cheap or it's going to be actually free. So I tend to use the term contractor from the standpoint of like, I even have see myself in that light from the standpoint of I do collaborative work on a what technically would be called a freelance base basis where I'm partnering with firms who have overflow work or have special uh, special need from the standpoint of I specialize in branding so I can come in and work with someone from the standpoint of if they you know, need a logo or a brand mark developed, if they need to work with strategy, like all of those things are, are my skill set. Uh, and I've worked in the commercial world for a very long time. And I've worked in the corporate world as a, a creative director, really specializing in that world of brand and brand development, um, and left that space because I wanted to be able to have the flexibility to do both teaching, as well as the commercial work. So from the standpoint of getting started, I think now more than ever, social media is key. You've got to have lots of different places where you're getting your imagery out there so that people know kind of what your aesthetic sensibilities are. I'm not uh, someone who believes that you can only have like one style, certainly. So if you're someone who's versatile, show that from the standpoint of you know your Instagram, uh, there's a, a site called Behance, which is owned by Adobe, which is uh, basically like a social media platform for creative people. So photographers are there, graphic designers are there, web developers, application developers, UX, UI people. There's lots of people that are in that space. And if I'm someone who's coming to that space and needs an illustrator, I, they have a search function where I can you know, type in what I'm searching for and see everybody who's tagged things that are related to that category of illustration. So certainly from the standpoint of freelance, being visible is key. Word of mouth is key. So if you're taking on jobs, you have to take on the jobs with, I would say even a stronger sense of responsibility to what you're doing and be very mindful of you know, the deadlines that you're making, the way that you're communicating, all the things that you're doing are top notch so that that person can refer you to the next person because referrals are the key to driving freelance. So, you know, being reliable, being committed, being passionate, listening. So it's really challenging for a lot of folks to make the transition from the educational space where there is some freedom to kind of do whatever you want inside of a project. So if, like I was saying with the capstone project on the senior side and the thesis project on the graduate side, both of these are self-driven. So, you know, I'm helping and guiding them from the standpoint of creating things that would fit that market share, but it's still like the look and feel is all up to them. Once you involve a client, the, that's a different relationship. It's almost like a marriage rather than just like, I'm just creating whatever I want. So from the standpoint of marketing work, that's going to be commercial and collaborative. It has to be primarily, you know, a working relationship where you're willing to take feedback. You're willing to make changes. You're willing to work through the process, the creative process. From the standpoint of freelance that might be or marketing things that might be uh, not related to commerce in the way of like I'm making for a client, certainly there are outlets for uh, anyone to produce things and sell things that are, you know, like if I might make a logo 
that uh, then could be applied to, or an illustration or a composition that could be applied to a product. And, you know, selling those is another way that I think that people, you know, fund this sort of freelance sphere of their work.